the first one we got here is yes the one I've been wanting oh come on open come on and before we continue on this is the entire list of minifigures so I just got what is it this one which I think has this new scarf piece yeah, so this gift of 40 minifigure items was given to me at the low, low price of $200 of my own money. But, because I spent my own money on this, I didn't get this for free. So yeah. Let's build the minifigures. I guess. This is the, oh shoot. This is the channel prisoner. That's awesome. Stop falling over camera. This is my favorite one of them all because it's the one I wanted the most. Because Jay's my favorite ninja from the Ninjago series, and now he looks even better. How do you build this? Oh, I see. Because we needed some nice cross promotion with the selfie stick. First minifigure. It's got 40 more packs to open. But you know what? It's just... Get to opening. I did not cut this right. There we go. No, on the off chance I would have gotten every single minifigure the same, it wouldn't have been so bad for me. Because I kind of wouldn't mind getting 20 of the same minifigure that I wanted the most out of all this, other than, of course, the Garmadon minifigure. Heck is this piece? I think it goes in the camera. So it may or may not be about to rain. Come on, come on. And boom. Garmadon minifigure complete. And that is minifigure number two. Gotta speed this up, so let's do three bags at once. Okay, it looks like my scissors cannot handle that. So it may either be that it's about to rain or there's a giant plane that's flying overhead. So other than other people are doing these things, I've not seen any of the many figures from this line. Except for, of course, the ones on the literal front of the package. So let's see what these next three give us. We've got our first repeat, which is okay with me, because I like this character. Oh, yes, we got the next one I wanted. The Kai minifigure. 
And then finally, another repeat of the Garmadon minifigure. I would put in a figures joke, but yeah. So, I'm gonna push these pieces to the side since I've already assembled it. And let's start to build the Kai. So the Kai has this cool new hair piece, which is no longer rubber. Because it used to be rubber in the actual Ninjago sets, but now it's not. And I think this one was really easy to build. Because we are just done now. And it also comes with this cool little helmet. So, that is the Kai minifigure. Okay. Three more bags at once. And if I can keep the screen up, you want to stir up like this for the whole time. I'll just show you this is what the art looks like on the packages. There's 20 of them in this series, which is why I ordered 40, just to make sure I got all 20 of them. And it looks like I just got the one I wanted. This is the Garmadon one. The, I think, actual... No, not the actual Garmadon one. That's... It's not the Garmadon one I was looking for. But as you can tell, there's barely no color on the Garmadon one. Oh no. Don't look in the sky at... My picture of a dog with sunglasses. I like the art look on these minifigures. They kind of look really cool. And I think this goes on the end. And I feel like I assembled this wrong because some of the pieces aren't staying on. But if you can see it, that is the Garmadon minifigure. Fully assembled. Next up we got... Some C thing. With this cool new, amazing looking shark piece. Look at this. So the villains of these are definitely seaworthy villains. So let's assemble this amazing looking minifigure. Are you kidding me? There's a fish. I gotta do it. I think this is how it's actually supposed to look. Let me just check the package, though. The little booklet that comes with each package says that it's supposed to look like that. It's a fish with fire coming out of its mouth. So, of course, we're only gonna have time to do the first 20 packs in this first episode of reviewing them. There's gonna be another one. With the last 20 packs, which I have to see how much I've opened. Because I haven't counted. I think I've opened 8. This is a cool fish warrior. So I've opened at least 8. Yeah, it's 8. And this next one is a... Ooh, I like this rubber piece. It's an octopus hat. Look at this rubber. It feels It's rubber. So let us get to assembling the, ro the rubber octopus creature. And I feel like I'm about to assemble this the wrong way. Yeah, I don't think you're able to put the octopus mask on there. And also have the little thing that comes with it on there. Oh, you're supposed to. Does it like just... 
Okay, so it stretches out, which is a little weird. Yeah, it stretches out. To fit over that. Which I've never seen Lego do before in their sets. They usually make it so you'd have to like take a piece off in order to have something like that on there. But there we go. That is the Octopus Man. Now, until I see the movie, which, of course, I'm seeing the movie. Ninjago is my favorite Lego show the Lego group has made. And Cartoon Network, of course, has featured on their channel. So, of course, I'm gonna go see the movie. But... I have no idea what these characters' names are until, of course, I see it. Rapid fire. We've got three more packs. And that will take us up to our grand total of 11. Looks like this one's a replica, so we won't even open it and show. The next two. Seems like the Garmadon ones are so far the only one I'm getting replicas of. The next one is hopefully not a replica. Although, all I need is really all the ninja. And this is another replica. Which, for once, is not a Garmadon replica. And this feels like a flat one, so I don't Unless, it's not a replica. It's not a replica. And it's not who I was thinking it was. Not at all. It is actually Nia. Now, of course, Nia's hairstyle in the movie takes a similar turn to Cole, which we'll see when we open the minifigure pack of his. And I think out of all these, it's probably the most blandest one because all it comes with is just, of course, a new look and then these two swords. So that's Nia. And let's open a couple more. So eleven. Seven more here that I just brought over from the chair. I really hope I'm not cutting open anything important. Ah. Okay, this is the one we haven't gotten yet. So it looks like I have no way of explaining what the heck this is, but... It looks like a... Rockstar, but... In the Ninjago look? Because I can, and the movie hasn't come out yet, so we don't know what his official name is. I'm calling him... Spud. This is Spud. Going on here to the next pack, and I really hope I get something good. Something I haven't gotten yet. Is it? I think it is. I think it's Lloyd. It's Lloyd. Yes. Now I just need the Lloyd with its hair with his hair piece. But the Lloyd in the show is actually taking a similar look to this since his voice actor is changing. He's taking on a similar look to the Lloyd in the movie. With the green eyes and all that. So this is Lloyd. And that is a good minifigure. Probably one of my favorites. Although, kind of boring. The thing that saves it from being too boring is the cereal. Which, I'm kind of wondering. 
Is it the cornflakes that Sensei Wu's minifigure has? And this is also Lloyd. Oh, I got the other Lloyd already. I thought it'd be a while until we get the other Lloyd. So this is, of course, the Lloyd in the Ninja Gi. Is that what it's called? It's G-I. And also the hairpiece that comes with it. Which I think is now an exclusive hairpiece. Well, not exclusive because it will probably come out in some sets as well. Oh, that's why it looks so messed up. There's an extra piece you're supposed to put onto this that makes sense. If I can put it on right. This is taking forever. I wish I could speed this up. But you can with the power of going through the video and trying to figure out which part is the less boring parts of all this. Look, there's a dragon piece. There's a dragon piece. And then I think this is an actual new sword mold. For Lloyd's many figure. So there is the Lloyd. And it comes with a second extra piece on the helmet, which is new to the movies. Um, this is his hair piece, and then there's his dragon thing. Which probably has some actual readable parts on it, but it's Lego. I think I feel another minifigure in here. Unless, of course, I was trolled, but there should be a minifigure in here. And I think I'm going to call this guy Sushi Man. Because that's literally all he is, is a Sushi Man. I mean, right now, he's literally selling sushi. So, of course, in this first video, we're automatically not getting the entire arsenal of minifigures. Because... One, that'd be extreme luck if I did get all 20 of them in one video. And two, we've already got some duplicates, so that's now impossible. And here is Sushi Guy. He's got a sushi hammer. He's got a sushi, I think, cleaver to cut off the sushi. There's the sushi. And then there's Sushi Guy. Some of these I probably will never actually use. But hey, they're there. Did we get another? No, I think we just got another Kai minifigure. No, we got this weird thing with this new mold. How do I work with this? It's like plastic. So this is what it comes on, and it's like stuck on there, and you're supposed to rip it off, which it's kind of bad packaging, because if little kids are trying to take this off, they'll probably rip it. I know I would if I was a little kid. This is hard to take off. And I have no idea how this is supposed to look like, so we're going to have to consult to... Um, something. Where's the... There we are. I got one. There it is. It's on the back. They knew you'd get messed up on some of these. So they told you how to do it. So for this one, it's literally like this.
Okay, this one's going to be the hardest to assemble. Oh, that's because I'm doing this wrong. Maybe if I was assembling it actually right, maybe it wouldn't be so hard now, would it? Although I think it's still hard to assemble the right way as well. So, I, so far, have no understanding of the plot of this movie. What are all these fish people? Why, in the second trailer, do we see a giant cat? Why is a giant cat the main villain of this movie? So, this is Fish Woman. Pretty, pretty weird to build a character. Pack number 17, I believe. I, I've been trying to count. And it's a replica, so we do not need to open it. Which makes this one even easier to build. Pack number 18. I think maybe a replica. But it's not. Because it's a new piece. And I think this is this movie's Misako. Or this new random character which I've seen in the commercials for the movie. She's got a book which is completely blank. As you can see, she's definitely not doing research. But disguising her comic book reading. Inside of a fake workbook. Because there's literally nothing in that book. She's also a fan of Batman, which is why I said... She does extensive comic book reading in that book. Camera had to focus there for a minute. So that is... I'm sure it's Misako. So there's another person I see in the trailer. It's called Sammy. So these are the last two, I believe. Let me count how much I've opened. Okay, so this one's number 19. And it's Zane. And you know what? Because I'm on a really high... Okay, that sounded like I'm on a high. Since I'm trying to do this fast now, I'm just going over the other one in here, which is a really weird... Is this a sea urchin? Really weird space thing. Space sea creature. Which is really freaking me out. This thing looks crazy and it's a woman. Although the headpiece for this is also, as you can see, rubber. As always, as of all these fish people it looks like. This is fish person. With the angler hat. I'm pretty sure that's what the thing is called. And then finally, probably the best one of them all. The one I was looking forward to just for the weird hairpiece. And we all know this dude's a murderer. Just look at his eyes. He's seen things. No human should see. Maybe that's because he's a robot. But I'm going with the next best guess. A murderer. Look at those eyes. Those are the eyes of a killer. But I would know one. But it's got these printing on there. The camera would focus. Come on, camera. Focus. It's got this printing on here, which I don't understand what the printing's for. But those are the eyes of a person that has seen things. So that is the first ten that's the first minifigures of them all. Next time, we'll be doing the last 20 pack openings. See you guys later. Bye.